Greetings family, this is Bomani Tayamba and welcome to our Africa for the Africans conference calls for all of our tour schedule for 2021 and 2022 and uh, today's our date is October 10th. I sent out a conference call email in our newsletter uh, which is this, covers a lot of the relevant uh, link and things that you need as far as Facebook, YouTube, the website. So what I want to do is just literally just go into our tour preparation. So what I'm going to do is go to our website, Africa for the Africans.org, and I'm going to go to the main menu, and I'm going to click on Tanzania Roots and Culture Tour, November 2021. And if I do the same thing with Ghana, uh, December 2021, it's going to give you some of the same things. But there's one file that's uh, similar for all of the tours. It's called Departure and Reminder List. This departure list, uh, the main thing about this list, it's made up of 30 points. When we get ready to travel, like two to three months before we travel, uh, this list right here is the most important for your preparation. And I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to also print it in relevance to the uh, Ghana and the Tanzania tour. You can also do the same uh, for Senegal and Gambia. But since we're so close to these two journeys, and especially for the Tanzania, I'm just going to use the Tanzania uh, link that we have. All right, so once again, family, uh, once you're on the website, Africa, for the Africans.org, you click on the tour link, and then you're going to go to departure and reminder list of everything for the journey that you have uh, paid for. So uh, number one, on the departure reminder list, I always put the link for the relevant tours uh, to where once you click on the link, you'll see the... Uh, the tour overview, the tour itinerary, the general terms, the visa information, what to pack, what to bring, things like that. Once you click on that link, if you take your time and read from the first article to the last article, you'll be 100% clear on the tour. The biggest issue that I have with people that we travel with is the fact that they think it's okay not to read any of the information and just join the tour. But I'm telling you, if you do that, that's your business. You're still responsible for the information, but at the same time, too, while I'm in, on tour or in Ghana, uh, we don't want any issues or problems with anyone because we have full schedule and you're moving and things. Are, and the same for Tanzania and any tour that we do. So you being clear and reading all the details is more important than anything else. Uh, and I think it's just unacceptable that we've had people in the past come on the tours and they feel like it's okay every day they see me what we're doing, what we actually drove me with a bunch of questions, and I'm not going to answer those questions. I'm being honest with you. I'm not being rude to anyone. Uh, because we, when we're during the tour, we go over all of the schedule. At least if, if we're coming back on the bus, we're going to go over the schedule for the next day and the day after. And then when we're in the morning and on the bus, we're going to go over the schedule for that day. And so what we usually tell you is to look at your tour book. Uh, the digital versions will be sent to everyone about a week before we travel. If I'm able to print printed copies, I do, but we're more so moving into the digital room because we don't have enough people traveling with us for us to print 50, 60 tour books, which is what the printers want for them to print this kind of book. The details are going to be in your tour book also, but it's also right here on the website, ready to go. And at the same time, too, I usually recommend before anyone even commit to just read the information. It's not that much information to where someone should have an issue with reading it, especially if you're going to spend this level of money to travel. So it's one thing I want to be clear with individuals. And then when you're on the tour with us, you have to keep up with the details. You have the schedule. We're going over everything. The bus is ready at a certain time in the morning. So individuals got to get themselves ready and organized and things like that. And we want everyone to know that if we're traveling and then you don't make it up in time to get the bus, you can't come at us any kind of way. Or if you're with us and then you decide that you are on a site and you decide that you're just going to run off and do whatever you want to do, don't come at us the wrong way because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. So everything that I'm explaining is for us to be, you know, be clear about everything and have a great time when we get there. Uh, so, but I can't stop but to bring up the, these issues that we have had in the past um, and things like that. So we want everyone to take accountability. So that's all that link is going to tell you, which is all the need to know information. Uh, number two, gratuities prior to departure. We collect tips for hospitality service, 
services that will be provided in Ghana, Tanzania, and other, other countries. This amount is based off the numbers of confirmed tour participants, and this will serve as a separate charge for the tour and will be collected on the departure date upon arrival at Atlanta or our connecting airport or when we get to Ghana. Uh, this will allow us to expedite services. You can give additional tips to anyone who gives you great services or whoever you choose. The $50 represents basic tips for all Africa for African uh, staff, including drivers, guides at all sites, hotels, and entertainment. All other services that may be provided, individuals can tip based on the service you get or tip based on how you choose. But our goal is to cover a certain amount of things that way at least the core group of people that we deal with, you know, they're being taken care of. Uh, number three, when you visit, do not come with a romanticized notion about Africa or you will be disappointed and unnecessarily frustrated. Come with open eyes and an open mind, knowing that Africa is a developing continent and there's much that we can contribute to the growth of the future of the continent. And so these are things you want people to be clear about, that you're going into a different world, even though you know you're going into a different world. And certain things as far as how business and things are done is not the way you may be used to it, but it's the flow of how the country works specifically. So we have to get used to the culture of how things are done in that specific country. I'm not saying that things are not like what you're used to. You're supposed to just accept certain things, but it's, it's a reality of it that we have to just be open to the culture of things. Uh, number four, um, this talks about the Delta E tickets, but also we have um, we have flights on from Delta KLM to even United. So basically, um, both tours, Tanzania November and also Ghana tour December, all tickets are cleared for all of the people who have committed to the journey and paid their money. So those tickets are cleared and the reservations are all set. Uh, so as far as the ticket itself. I always ask everyone to just log into the ticket to verify that everything is correct and everything looks good. Uh, don't just go by the email that I sent you. You physically have to log into those those uh, airlines, and then that's how you will verify that your ticket is real and your ticket is finalized and everything is all set. And you can change your seats, add meals, and do different things on your login. Uh, five. Make sure you secure your personal documents, including passport tickets, uh, and always just recommend people keep a copy of these things printed out and also a copy on their email. Uh, six, verify our travel documents and have them uh, ready for a travel date. Uh, so make sure you just print out a copy of your, your ticket and just make sure you have your passport, all those things just organized. Uh, so five and six, we're talking about a lot of the same thing, just organizing your travel documents. Uh, seven, arrive uh, two to three hours. Uh, to give you enough time to check in, go through security, and get on your flights. And even now, you may want to even just try to get there a little bit earlier. Uh, eight, check bags. Um, uh, so right now, the situation is, well, Delta and Kalen, that's, one, that's what I can always confirm, is two check-in bags. We're on United, and uh, we just have to literally verify those things uh, for those of us that are going to Ghana. It may not necessarily be the same baggage situation, but that's what I like about dealing with Delta and KLM whenever we book the tickets through their uh, group department or just when we just get tickets to them, it's uh, standard for their international connection of two bags, um, two check bags that's 50 pounds each. Now when you go to Tanzania with me and you're, we're going to be flying from a, a domestic flight that goes from Arusha to uh, Zanzibar Island, now you're going to be down to one check bag of 50 pounds, and then you have to pay for the other uh, check bags. So these are the baggage is all our responsibilities uh, to pay for them. Uh, all of the, the, the flight packages aren't always going to have two check bags and things like that. And even on um, number eight, up right there on the, the Tanzania preparation, I have check bags for Air Tanzania. It breaks it down one check bag with 50 pounds limit for economy class as check-in bags allowance and 66 pounds for business class. If you have two check bags, you would have to pay for the second. And what we want you to do is visit uh, their website, uh, airtanzania.co.tz forward slash baggage. And that way you could be clear about those situations. Uh, so this is also a sequence that we did last year. And some people were prepared to pay for that second bag, and some people weren't. Again, I mentioned that this is your responsibility of information to know. We're just basically just managing tour information for you as best as possible. 
and there's not much we can do beyond this having the details available for individuals to read and be clear on. Nine, uh, carry on baggage. You may carry on one baggage and one personal item. Uh, so that's kind of like a small roll-on bag and a backpack. Those are two of the popular carry-ons. Uh, Ten, when packing luggage, remember that less is better. You'd want to purchase clothing and artifacts to bring back. And then the good thing about it, if you if you fill one of your bags with like school supplies, because we always have schools we donate uh, supplies to on both of the journeys, or all of the journeys, I, I should say. Uh, so if you bring more supplies and more things that you can get rid of, then that leaves open another 50-pound bag. So for people coming to Tanzania, if you have things you want to get rid of, uh, on our first part of Tanzania, which is Arusha, that's where we have the school. So, And then that's where you also have many opportunities to get rid of some of the things that you have. And that will lighten your load to travel to Zanzibar Island and then from Zanzibar Island to Dar es Salaam. All right, 11, uh, what I have on there is uh, I always recommend everyone bring a, a set of red, black, and green, red, black, green, and gold. That's the colors of our African nation building energy and also a, a set of whites uh, for when we, you know, go to places like Holocaust dungeons or deal with the African um, Holocaust in general. All right, in 12 hours, one of the things we talked about earlier, kind of just talk more about uh, bringing any school supplies and donations and things like that. So that's defined on, the, on number 12. After 13, uh, Tanzania, tour November um, 18 departure. I'll have the, the meetup point. Uh, for us, we're going to be meeting up. And this is, um, unfortunately, this is one of the ones I have to update probably on the Ghana. But uh, as far as... Um, Tanzania, we're set to this meetup at 2 o'clock in Atlanta. And then for those of us who do not meet up in Atlanta, we'll be able to meet up in um, Amsterdam the next day. So those are the two meetup points. And usually the meetup point is two hours before the flight. So physically, when you even get to Amsterdam, our flight um, depart at 10:15. Uh, but so we'll, you know, we'll meet everyone that's traveling with us at 8 o'clock in the morning, and we'll just check everybody off, introduce everybody, and connect everybody. And the same for Ghana when we leave on December 24th, that we're going to all be meeting up there at Washington Dallas Airport, flying a direct flight that goes from Washington Dallas directly to Ghana. And that's a new uh, route on United Airlines that, uh, that gets us there early in the morning. So that was, that's always good for our program. So this is a flight sequence with United that we're using for the first time. And um, we wasn't able to do group booking ahead of time. So... Uh, once we find out about the option that we have with United, it was the last minute, so we was able to just organize tickets as best some layovers with double connections and a few hours uh, layover. But uh, we just did the best we can do to make sure that we had a direct flight. And the goal was just to avoid us going to Europe in December and then coming back and going back to Europe when we leave from Ghana. Uh, Fourteen, bring any necessary medicine that you may need. Fifteen, Camera slash camcorder, bring extra film or memory card and rechargeable batteries. If you have electronics, bring a uh, converter, phone adapters, and an extension cord. Unlock iPhone or Samsung Galaxy so you can set up your own mobile SIM uh, during, during uh, Ghana or Tanzania. So if you don't want to do that, that's fine. But if you want, uh, what our users recommend is this, using a US phone and then connect via Wi-Fi and then use the WhatsApp to communicate with us and communicate with people that you need to communicate with. Uh, 16, um, recommend things like uh, travel iron, alarm clock, plastic bags, compact umbrella, waterproof poncho, and other convenient accessories. 17, uh, mosquito spray or repellent or cinchinella oil, which is an excellent insect repellent. Avoid wearing scented lotions or oils. Mosquitoes like sweet smell. No, most of these sprays have dangerous chemicals. Do your research for the safest thing to use. Uh, 18, calculator for basic things like currency exchange. Tanzania exchange rate is for one U.S. dollar is equals to 2,319 uh, Tanzania shillings, and that made us uh, change. But it's basically for one U.S. dollar is equivalent to 2,300 uh, TZS Tanzania shillings. So do your best to just con convert the money and everything. And after a while, I don't see it will just become simple, and we'll just go through ways to where you can just understand the simplicity of it.
um, especially when you're just looking at this and you're calculating all this money. 19, bring as much cash as you think you would need. Um, just usually recommend bring four to $800 or more. It just all really depends on what you're looking to get taken care of in the country. A uh, tour package covers everything. One thing it doesn't cover is your lunch, your group tips, and then just anything else that you want to do in the country. So, you know, it's up to you to, to calculate what you need to bring. Um, if you do bring your visa card and things like that, just call the bank and put in a travel notice, and then uh, that should be fine. And then in some situation, if that doesn't work, you can always call the bank and uh, let them know you're trying to make a transaction in Africa and it's not going through, and then they'll do their best to fix that for you. These are common things that happen um, when you're just traveling and you're trying to use your cards and things like that. So I just want everybody to be prepared on that. Uh, 20, the weather is going to be beautiful, tropical, and nice. All the countries you go to, you're looking at seven weathers. The weather is usually from 70 to 80 degrees, and, and sometimes it may get up to 90, but it's, uh, it's not uh, humid. It's nice and cool weather. And for the most part, we're in certain environments like we're in Zanzibar Island. We're right there by the, you know, right there by the beaches. Um, and when we're in Dar es Salaam, we're kind of up in the not Dar es Salaam. When we're in Arusha, we're up in the mountains. It's nice and cool. And when we're in Ghana, we're basically, for the most part, we're, we're close by the ocean atmosphere the whole time that we're there, with the exception of the last three days in Kumasi. 21. Uh, it's one of those strange, funny things when you have your camera, camcorders, and things like that. Just, just be wary of the signs that say no photos and things like that. And then this moves a little smoother in the airports. If you want to use your phone, the phone is a little more discreet than a cam, a camera or a camcorder, so you can just, you know, just, just kind of watch your movements with it if you're trying to record certain things. And as far as security personnel and people like that, they don't like to get recorded, so be mindful of all those things. 22, um, our tour uh, business does not offer travel insurance, but it can be purchased from an independent insurer. Passport Health is one of the companies that have locations in different parts of the United States uh, that offers travel and health services. Few of our group members from Atlanta era has used their services. So you see the link, say Passport Health USA. Uh, so that's just one recommendation we have, but it's up to everyone to just get travel insurance based on what they're looking for specifically. And in that case, you, you, may, you want to make sure that you're clear about what you want to get on there and what you may not want. Uh, so that's just up to the individuals altogether. Uh, 23, toiletries, including toilet tissues, soap, feminine napkins, wet wipes, facial tissues, washcloths, beach towel, and laundry soap. Now, these are just things that you can conveniently bring. 24, I have this for Tanzania, but I'm going to just generalize it for this all of Africa. You know, uh, wherever we go in Africa, our people are very friendly. However, be wary of people who just want to make quick money off you and make promises they cannot keep. You should know as much as possible about the people you're planning on doing business with. And family, that is very serious because we have had conference, um, business conference, all kinds of things, and I have people that travel with me. Instead of them talking to myself, um, a tour guide, or the other people that we have at the business conference to help them with business, they go out there and they meet people that we have no idea who they are. And, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's, it's individual's business. If you, anyone can do business and connect with anybody they want to do, that's your business. The issue is that when someone does certain things to you, uh, we don't want to feel like we have anything to do with it because, you know, you're in a country, just like if I was to go to any other country, you have criminals and wicked people and vultures everywhere, and then you have some of the nicest people, and that's all countries across the board. And what that person tries to do is find the best people in each country that we're in to do business with. When I find out that they're not good people, I fire them and get rid of them. I'm straight up about that. With me... In business, for the most part, it's just one opportunity. Either we do business right or we don't. And if you, we do business and, you know, you do certain things, and, you know, we're just not going to de deal with you. So these are some of the things that I've been also empowering our group that's living and doing business in Ghana to understand that ever since, like, the 2019 year of return, it, vultures have came out the woodwork. And it's sad because those of us that's coming to the African continent, we're trying to build a future and trying to do certain things. And then, so I don't want us to get caught up into scams and things like that, but it's a lot of things that goes on that if you're not there and you have good connections there, people are going to work you over. I've seen many terrible situations, but I don't ever want to just push negativity because 
you know, if this was not Ghana and Jamaica, we'd have the same issue. If this was not Jamaica or Ghana and then we go to Canada, same issues. Um, and some of the situations may be different based on culture and based on certain things, but that's why we have an organized tour to make sure that we look out for the people that we're dealing with. And then the tour guides and people that we have that we actually recruit, they're good people. And trust me, um, these are people that, you know, you're consistently just connecting with. So if you find out that they're not good people, you get rid of them quick. And for me, it's not a whole bunch of chances that they get. Uh, so the people, so the fact that we have people that we've been doing with, in business with a long term, that shows that we've been able to build good relationships and have good people with us from the African continent that we can work with. And outside of that, uh, this, you know, we just have to be mindful for other people who just don't see the same vision or don't have the same mission as you know, those of us that are trying to build a future in Africa. At 25, uh, games for leisure time and social uh, gatherings, deck of cards, dominoes, chess, and general board games. 26, emergency items, flashlights, basic first aid kit, laxative, Pepto-Bismol, uh, anti-diarrhea. There's a few different things on this list, but uh, note that these medications are not all natural, and do your research to find a safest and healthiest thing to bring. Uh, that's if you decide that you need to bring medicine and things like that. At uh, 27, uh, please focus on enjoying yourself and accomplishing your mission. Do not get distracted by others or get caught up in complaining. This is an experience that will have its ups and downs. It's a part of your introduction uh, to Africa. Uh, we recommend you go with the flow and enjoy your time in paradise around this wonderful itinerary that we have put together. At uh, 28, remember you have to take your COVID-19 uh, test. Uh, so I always recommend that everyone take it two days before your actual travel departure. That way, by the time you even get to Amsterdam or get to Europe, if you're connecting to Europe, um, that test will still be good. Uh, so those are some of the things that we've been talking with COVID-19 tests. And I always recommend individuals to go for the free test that you can get back within 24 hours because when you're going to Tanzania or Ghana, you do have COVID tests that you do have to pay for uh, that you don't really have any way around and you have health forms and things that have to, uh, to fill out. So those are some of the things that before we even leave, I will be doing uh, Zoom video calls like I always do with specific group based on us traveling together to Ghana, Tanzania, and we're going to go through all of these things, and it will be video so people can do introductions, everybody can see each other, and we can just really focus on the final core things that we need to be clear on. And then there's a situation when before we even get close, I'm reading over all of the details as far as, enter in the country because things do change uh, and things can change up as early as, as late as the day before we leave. Uh, so all these things we have to keep ourselves posted on. So what we have is the WhatsApp group for all tours and when we're getting closer to these journeys, that WhatsApp group, that's when we really start sharing some of these details and also repeating some of them. So everyone, we always want everybody just to be clear on the WhatsApp group and to keep up with the details and if anyone went into any situations where they're not clear about something that they need something sent to them via email or something sent to them directly, you know, just let me know so we, be, so we can all be cleared. Uh, that way we don't have issues with people missing flights or being delayed for flights because that's been the situation ever since this COVID-19 drama uh, situation came out. Some people are showing up to airports, going to different countries, and then when they get there, the agents are telling them you need this, you need this, you need this, and they're not clear. So since you're all traveling with me, I make sure I do that research and I make sure me and my tour guides and other people that have traveled to the specific country recently, because I always have people going to different countries, so I usually just reach out to them and say, hey, did you have to do anything different from the last protocols that we did to get to Tanzania or Ghana and things like that? So right now, we have a nice sequence of everything that we need so far. 29, um, when you get to baggage claim, uh, just get your own free uh, cart and just organize your stuff on your cart and then just follow us as we proceed to the exit and for us to connect with the uh, tour guides that will pick us up and take us to our hotel. And the last uh, thing, uh, 30, bring things that will help you make this moment of connecting to the land of your ancestors special. So if you want to bring candles, if you want to bring a picture of an ancestor, if you want to do any of those things, we're going to go to different locations where you can, you know, you can meditate and, and just you know, make your connection. Uh, this is more so in Ghana, but Tanzania, uh, you can also do that. Or I should say this is more so Ghana, uh, Senegal, and the Gambia, since they have Af actual African Holocaust sites. Uh, 
dungeons and forts and things like that. So family, uh, that was a quick uh, go through in a, in a 20 minute uh, time frame. But these are the things that we have on the tour preparation that we want everyone to be clear on and everybody to be prepared and ready for. Uh, other than that, uh, what we deal with is just chaos. And I'm a military organized person. I'm not just a person who just joined the military. I'm a military minded person. I believe in all of that organized organization, operation, logistics, and every aspect of it. And I just feel like we just need to use more of those things in the mission of business that we're doing to show our people that we can actually be structured and organized to get things done because what I'm always hearing about is that how we just always operate in chaos and we're not organizing things like that. And then when some of us get together, we can't do business together. And those are some of our struggles as a people, but we have no choice but to learn to do better. And then the same thing when we're connecting to our own people on the African continent, there's going to be a lot of situations that we have to deal with, but we as a people have to figure it out. We were divided across the entire world. Uh, so the fact that we're even coming together Going to Africa and doing this is unbelievable. But, you know, we have to think about the future of our children, the future of our, the world that we live in, and the future of what we the people have worked hard for and things like that. So I always just thank our ancestors for the energy and strength uh, that they have given us to this, continue this mission. And I uh, just want all of us to just learn to just connect together, network together, help each other out, and especially when we are moving into the country and staying back and things like that. Um, and the reason why I say that because we're dealing with a situation where you know, most of us are from America or from just the African diaspora in general, but then when we get to certain countries, it's different languages, it's tribalism and different things, things that we may not even understand together. But if we stick together, we have a better way to deal with it. And if we use the diplomats and the, the people that we have in the country, uh, that will also help. So if we need anything in any other specific country, just reach out to myself or reach out to our tour guides and we'll just work things out for you. So family, that is that preparation list. And the next thing I'm just gonna just open up real quick is to just go to that newsletter that was sent. So I'm gonna make sure, look over a few things. All right, perfect. So our newsletter, I just give you like as soon as you open the news, I give you all the details to connect to the conference call. And right now I have the 267 number and I have a link that says join the online meeting, which is what I'm recommend everyone do. Just create an online account. And even though we don't do much video on this and we just use it more as audio, it does have a video feature, but that slows down the progress of our conference call. So I don't really just use it. And once you're on the newsletter, what you're going to see is just a whole lot of documentation of all the tours that we've done in Ghana, the history of all the conference calls that we have, all the videos, pictures, and so on. All of those details are just set to where, again, family, it's a lot of information to read, but reading is what we need to be clear on about what we're doing. And that's uh, also the same thing I tell people who are looking to invest and do business. So... You know, when I send information to people, yes, the people say it's a lot of information, but it's like I don't know what to say because if I don't give you, if I don't send you a flyer or something, that's not going to be enough. So appreciate the people who have actually taken their time to read the information and the ones who are coming the tour and they actually use that details to ask certain questions away from those basic questions because now they're clear on anything. We can get into, like, other dialogues that we really need to get into on the tour. And there's things that we're going to need to be talking about, like, the, you know, the tree uh, language translation and things like that. We can get more into those things, you know, when we just clear these other things out of the way. So we do have, a, we have, do have tour guides, and please just have some of the best questions to ask them. Uh, and everything that we're going to be doing on these tours are going to be recorded. So anyone who are still out there that's trying to wonder what we're dealing with, what we're dealing with is, a, is all these tours and these groups that we have, we have previous videos of the previous groups, and you will get an idea exactly of what we have done. And I mean, it's lots of videos, so it shows you everything that we deal with. Uh, because sometimes I, I think when we tell people in general what we do in Africa, they either think that we're making it up or they think that we're not about what we're about. That's why the only way I can go by things is documentation. And, and everything is written in the language that all of us speak, which is English, same as the tour guides and other people that we deal with. And anyone else who needs to translate can translate it to their more so native language. And so scrolling down, all those group pages and all those links are there uh, to really share. And it's this, this really uh, happy that we're just able to share a solid program to get you connected in Africa. 
uh, because you, we really need a special program because I've seen too much people just go there and then they go there, they're spinning their wheels and they're trying to figure things out. When you come on a journey with us, everything is laid out and everything is set to where if you want to come back and connect with other people, those things are in place. And then if you're not looking to go on a journey and you need assistance or help, that's when we quote unquote charge straight up consultation to help you with your game plan, travel Africa, set up, move, live, do business or anything that you're looking to do. But if you're traveling with us on our tour group or if you're part of our Black Star Pan-African community and you want to move, what you pay for, we can include those things and then you don't have to pay anything extra. Uh, so anyone that's traveling with us and you want to get into these conversations with me, call me, we'll talk, we'll go through it and I'll help you get you know, what you need to get set up in the country and connect you with the people that we have there that can help you. And so, family, so those are uh, just a quick overview of going over a few things. What I want to do more so now is just open up for questions and answers and then go to anything that anyone wants to talk about or be clear on. And, you know, I wish I could, we can go to a lot of stuff, like, all together, but we have to break it down in different conference calls because there's so much to, you know, to quote-unquote go over. But I go over all of this for the record, to, and it's all edited and re it's all recorded and then edited and presented on, on YouTube and share with everyone um, in the group page and also via email on these uh, conference calls. Uh, that way we can all see for the record that we made ourselves available and we went through certain dialogues and things like that. Um, I can't speak of what other people do for people in this business, but all I know is that we started this business, I started traveling to Africa in 2004 and started doing um, the current business that we have in 2006. And then all I know is that all I see is a lot of people doing the same thing. They're doing tours, they're selling land, and things like that. I'm not saying that they're exactly copying off me, but I'm also saying they're exactly copying off me and things like that. But just because someone copy off you don't mean that they're going to put the work in. Um, you, anyone can copy all of this. Is someone going to be available throughout the whole week to be able to handle all of the, the things that need to be handled? It's easy to put stuff up online and everything, but it's a different story to deliver. And what we have delivered is 19 straight journeys in Ghana. And other countries are usually just one or two other journeys, or a few journeys. But just showing people that we literally specialize in organization and getting things done. And what you do is you pace yourself throughout the whole time and get everything done. That way, even the last month when you're ready to go, everything is paid for and done. All right, so family, what I'm going to do is just uh, put everybody back in... Uh, Mute all mode, so what you have to do is press star six to unmute yourself and then give your name, where you're calling from, and your question, and what journey you're traveling on. Hello, Lonnie. Hey, uh, greetings. This is Deborah. Um, I, greetings, Deborah. I, lost, I, I lost my connection for a few minutes, but I wanted to find out, and I could listen to the recording if you've already gone over it. Um, about internet connections, phone plugs for charges, what kind of uh, phone charge plugs that they have. Do they have what we have here, or is it slightly different? Perfect. I answer that directly. When you get to the hotel, you connect, to the, um, you connect via Wi-Fi, and then you can use your WhatsApp. So that's the best thing I can recommend for anyone. Anyone who wants us to bring an unlocked phone or wants to get a local SIM card, we can get the uh, tour crew to get you one and things like that. I always recommend everyone do is to get a universal adapter and extension cord. So the key thing is universal, meaning that you get a setup that's going to work anywhere in the world, regardless of where you go, France, South Africa, Ghana, Tanzania. So that's what I've used in every single country out of the 10 countries I've been to Africa. All of these universal adapters and setups, they have worked in every country. Uh, so you can use, you can, whether you go to Amazon, Best Buy, eBay or Walmart, they all have travel sections that have these things. Okay, and they're all the same type, you said? It's universal adapters. Everything is universal adapters. Okay. It's dealing with international, so they're not going to all look okay. the same, but the key thing is universal and international when you order these things okay. and you're going to search for them. Okay, all right. Thank you. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you're welcome. Hi, right, Green family. The line is open. I uh, just went through our 30-point uh, preparation that's on our Ghana tour link and Tanzania tour link. 
All right, so family, I'm going to just stay, I'm just going to stay and hold until someone have a uh, question. I'm trying to make myself available to do these conference calls, but I don't want to sit here and just talk, talk, talk over the same thing that everyone have access to read. I'm just really looking for questions or a dialogue on things that can help other people also. Greetings, Romani. How are you? Uh, greetings. Um, I'm doing all right but self. This is Sheila from Atlanta who traveled with Debbie and you to Ghana. Good We just wanted to let you know that we love you and you are a wonderful tour guide, and we hope to travel with you to Senegal and the Gambia. All right, excellent. Uh, if you're looking to travel to Senegal and Gambia, just make sure you're clear on information, and then the main thing, as usual, we just need to get everyone's uh, deposits so we can get things going. Amadi, this is Debbie. I have some personal questions that I will call you about Senegal, Gambia trip. Shout out to me when you're ready to talk and we can talk about it. It's uh, all good. Okay. All right. We just wanted to howl at you and thank you again, and we look forward to talking to you real soon. Yes, absolutely. Appreciate you and appreciate both of you just being wonderful on the Ghana journey. That was a beautiful journey. Um, I don't think we even had any issues on the journey. It was just nice and smooth. That was the best trip, so Molly. Oh my goodness, that was that was like the most wonderful experience. The people were lovely. The food was good. We didn't want to leave. You know that, especially one Africa. We didn't want to leave. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, and I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed one Africa because I'm always telling people that at the Tanzania journey we have, you know, it's like a legit uh, like three, four star uh, beach resort. But one Africa, there's no stars. It's, you know, it's just a beautiful like location right there, bed and breakfast spot in chalets that's right there and and you know I've been there for since two thousand six. I always stayed here and I wouldn't trade them in for no five star hotel and that's what I'm like saying to people that even like our Ghana itinerary is just so like it's just so so much of a real itinerary and and plus the whole itinerary is black you know it's a black owned itinerary. And um our sister Amicus uh you know from uh, New York has been one of those uh energy in Ghana that you know, you know, we like what she has set up for us, and she set up perfect to where it's you know, it's more off the grid, and it's not so much like, you know, some traditional fancy rich uh, resort that you have on the beach, and you can actually just meet the real people and connect. So I, I've I've always just enjoyed that, and and when people tell me that they enjoy one Africa and and things, you know, it's it, it's real good because that shows me that we don't always have to have five star bougie hotels. That was a five star to me. I, you know, I stayed in Malcolm X's hut. Are you kidding me? That was five star. I'm telling you, five star plus. Absolutely, it was just a nice environment the whole time. The drumming, the dancing, the entertainment, the eating uh, dinner out there, just in the elements. Listen to the Atlantic Ocean at night. The breeze from the ocean blowing through your window, and you laying there resting, and all you thinking about is your ancestors and woo. I'm sorry. I was, <laughs> I was having a moment. <laughs> I mean, it brings me great memories. It's an incredible connection that, you know, we're here and we're in America, but it's like I'm telling people, make time and work it out to get to Africa. It's a special connection. Whether you, you, know, you decide to live there and do business, which is just another level, but just the visit and the connection itself, and it's even just focusing on tourism. Because sometimes it's good for us to just be a tourist, and enjoy our own black culture and our own setups around the world. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, it was wonderful talking to you again, and like I said, we'll be in touch. See you in oh, absolutely, I appreciate your energy. All right, peace. All right, perfect. Uh, so, family, the line is open and looking to get uh, questions for anyone that's looking to travel with us between uh, 2021 and 2022 on any of our journeys to Ghana, Senegal, Gambia, and Tanzania. All right, family, the line is open. And if, honestly, if no one has have any questions, that means everyone is clear on everything and all good. And, yeah. Hi, Bomani. Hi, uh, greetings. This is Sister, yeah, Sister Kubi in New York. I'll be talking to you during the week. Just checking in. Uh, greetings, Kubi. Um, greetings. Yes. Yeah. Checking in, but I'll be talking to you during the week. Uh, absolutely. Are you ready to go to Ghana? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and tell little Bomani I said hello. Give him a big hug for me. Uh, absolutely. Definitely, I'll do that. Okay. I told uh, some of you are supposed to be listening to you, 
and asking questions, so I don't know what happened to him. But I'll try to talk to him later. I right, saw so good. Um, yeah, I'm one of the people that's not going to stress it. The only thing I just let everyone know that that I always have a public forum. Always yes. For tourism, investment, and business, and I'm, and I'm not yes. doing. This is not YouTube live. I'm, it's a public forum for those of us that want to connect and just have more of a private conversation. But if you know, if individuals don't make it or whatever, it's all good. I'll, I'll get the recording out, and if they just want to talk to me directly, you can call me directly, and you know, we just get to the point and get business handled. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, absolutely. Uh, welcome. Bye bye. God bless. I'm saying we have about another good 10, 15 minutes, but if we have to cut it short, we'll cut it short. Uh, looking for more questions and looking for any dialogue of anything anyone wants to talk about. But if no one has anything else to share, definitely just ask everyone to just you know, read all of those tour links and tour information and the newsletters that we sent out, and you'll be good. All right, I'm looking through the newsletter to see if there's anything else I can even talk about, but... Honestly, based on the last few conference calls that we have had, I've covered a whole lot of information. All right, let me see if anyone has uh, sent any message on chat. So you can always just post it on chat. Uh, so this is somebody saying greetings. Uh, no questions in the chat. Hi, right, family. Uh, I am still here, so I'm just waiting for questions. If not, then we'll close in a few minutes. Oh yeah, we'll exchange our money. We'll exchange our you exchange your money when we're on the tour bus or when you're on the tour with us. Uh, so that is a simple thing. I have someone designated to do money exchange, so that's no problem. So it's a combination of that, or we'll just go to a bureau uh, or a location where we just exchange the money. So it's something that it's one of the simplest things that we have on the schedule. All right, family. Um, well, appreciate everyone and. Um, it seems like everything is clear. I don't have a lot of questions tonight, which is uh, all good. Uh, so that's my preparation. I went over that preparation list. So if I went over it too fast, just take your time and just review it on the website. And then if you have any questions, you can always text me on WhatsApp or you can just uh, always uh, send me an email. And um, I'll look out for the, you know, whatever anyone communicate with me on. And my goal is always to communicate back with you more so direct, uh, you know, within 24 hours. And... Um, if you send money or if you communicate with me and you feel like you have not gotten a reply back, just call me or just reach out to me again. And I'll do my best throughout the day to look for all these messages. That's something that um, that if you're traveling or doing business with us, um, I always have you down as a, as a priority communication and everything. But in general, anyone reach out to me, my goal is always to just connect back with them as best as possible throughout the day. Sometimes we have conference calls. Sometimes I'm talking to our folks in Ghana and sometimes we're just on live streams and, and you know business meetings and things like that. So the best thing I always recommend is that anyone that want to connect with us and you don't get connected with us immediately, just leave a message and things like that and uh, be detailed as possible and I'll connect with you and we'll talk. Um, my goal is to make sure that I have time to talk with everyone that needs uh, for us to have a direct conversation. So all right, family, everyone, uh, enjoy the rest of your uh, Sunday. And it was just you know, good connecting with um, everyone that uh, showed up on the call. And we'll just keep our connection and communication on our specific uh, group uh, page. Uh, so family, everyone, you take care. And I'm going to close out a call for the night. I'm going to just put everybody back in mute all and just say good night. All right, so family, appreciate everyone. Looking forward to our wonderful Tanzania journey and wonderful Ghana journey. and. Um, we went over so much to where I feel like a lot of people are clear on everything, so that's a great thing. Uh, so you take care of yourself, and uh, good night. Good night.